In today's video, we'll take a look at details about splitting strings in JavaScript and common problems that you're certainly going to encounter. So here I have a, an example of a comma separated value formatted string that represents basically a person. And that person has a name, the year of birth, and its profession. So let's say we want to separate these two, these three, and we just want them in an array, and we're just gonna console log the array. So simple enough, we can uh, use a function called split. And this guy takes in as a string, the first parameter, the character or the characters that you want to uh, split at. So here I can give it the comma value, just a string with the comma uh, character inside of it. And what this guy is going to do is when we call it, it's going to take in this string and remove all the commas, right? And add every single uh, string in between as a different element inside the array, the resulting array. So you're going to say here, let, I'm going to call it sp from split. And I'm going to also console log the result. So you're going to see that if I try to run this, I get the expected result. I get an array of every single sort of field from that comma separated value string. Simple enough. Now, there are some issues with this. What happens if, for example, you have an empty, an empty field, right? So there are two commas here. Now here, it depends how you want to treat this. If you want to treat this as if this is just a field that is empty, well, in our case, it's going to work properly because as you can see, the second uh, element is an empty string. So that's kind of expected. But if you want to, for example, treat them as if they don't ever exist, um, it's a bit more complicated. Now, of course, you can use a uh, filter call onto this array and just filter all the empty strings. That's valid. But uh, inside the split string method, there is functionality that helps you do this much more easily. That is, if I instead pass in, instead of this string, I'm gonna pass in a uh, regular expression that's going to say, okay, well, split at every sort of grouping of commas. So if you have m many commas, just split at it and just remove this whole grouping and treat it as it's just one, right? So I can pass in a different parameter to this split function that is a regular expression. So I'm gonna say slash slash and in between here, I'm gonna pass in a sort of regular expression for finding one or more commas in a sequence. And to do that, I just have to say comma and plus, right? Plus means one or more, whatever is before, right? And I want one or more commas, right? In our case, what this guy is going to do is match every single grouping of commas that are one after the other, like this one and this one and this and whatever it might come after this and remove them and treat them as one single comma. Now, if I run this, you'll notice that we just get uh, the Andrew, the name, and we get the year, and we get we don't get a lot of empty fields as we did before with the uh, string that had a comma in it, right? If I run this, you'll notice I get a bunch of empty strings, and that's not great. So this works for many commas. That's really nice. We get what what we wanted. But what if we also want to remove trailing spaces? What if uh, let's say we have here a space and then we have another space here. And when we're trying to run this, you'll notice those spaces appear in the resulting strings. And that's what we don't want. Sure, you can use um, the trim functions that are inside the string methods, but that requires going through every single um, string inside our array. That could be costly. So in order to do this more efficiently, you can use the regular expression to remove those training spaces. How? Simple. Uh, since we're considering now any number of commas to be a group, we can say instead of just any number of commas, if we have any number of spaces before the commas, even zero, then if we have commas, any number of commas after it, and after that we also have any number of spaces, even zero, we can consider that whole thing as a group. So we can say, uh, as you can see here, this would be considered a group and it would be split at this point, not at this point. So this space is going to be removed from the resulting string. To do this, what we have to do is specify here a space character that is backslash s 
and we want it zero or many times, right? So you can say star or asterisk. And that's, that means um, however many spaces, even zero, and then that, if that's followed by a group, of, a group of commas, then we have a match, right? And we can say the same thing at the end of the, uh, like after the group of commas. So you can say backslash s and then another asterisk. And it says, okay, remove all the trailing spaces at the start and at the end of the matching strings. So now when I'm trying to run this, you'll notice I don't get any sort of uh, extra additional space. And the benefits of this is, well, if the creator of the, let's say, uh, comma separated value uh, file actually wanted it to be more readable and added a space after every single comma, now you're gonna actually remove that space inside the resulting string without doing any more calculations than before. Right, so I can have here, for example, a comma and then a space. And that looks nice to the eye, not as crammed as this way of uh, typing the actual comma separated values, but it, it's actually parsable as well. So nice so far. And so using the power of regular expressions, you can basically uh, treat all these edge cases and treat it as you want, right? So if you want for these two commas to be represented as actually a missing field. So let's say we have the first field being Andrew, the name, and then the second field being, I don't know, something like the, la the last name or something, and that's missing somehow. If I want that to be uh, valid, I, sh I should just remove this thing and say just a comma instead of any number of commas. And that says, okay, just one comma, if you have that and you have leading or trading spaces, you should remove those. So now if I try to run this, you'll notice I get an empty string here and it has no sort of trailing spaces after it, which is quite interesting. So for completion's sake, I'm going to also cover the second parameter to the split uh, method. And that is basically the number of strings that you get inside the resulting array. So you can say, okay, I want the, as a maximum, I want a uh, free element inside our array. And now if I try to run this, You'll notice I get only three here. So as you can see, this guy just split everything and just kind of uh, limited the amount of results. It didn't stop splitting and uh, resulted in the last string being whatever is remaining after splitting as many times, right? So take that into consideration. This guy is not going to just limit the amount of commas you find and then uh, actually give you the last part of the string. That you might have to do on your own. And that's about it when it, it comes to splitting strings. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you start using regular expressions whenever you're trying to match more complicated results here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care, bye.